Now we have to close the gap between the roof slabs and the walls. Return to layer 2. Click on the walls icon on the tools palette and select all the walls, dragging the selection rectangle. Choose Duplicate on another layer command from the Edit menu. Choose the destination layer. Select and delete the walls of the balcony. Click on the roof icon and select the roofs. Click on the fills icon on the top palette, choose no fills in the fills dialog. Click on the rectangle icon. Select all the rectangle and polygons used for constructing the roofs. Click on the windows icon. Select with the selection rectangle and delete all the windows and doors. Click on the active layer icon on the top palette for enabling the visibility of the active layer only. The ridge of the roof falls on two of the walls so before adjusting the wall heights we must first cut the walls at the ridge. Click on the scissors icon on the top palette and with the scissor tool trace a vertical line to cut the walls along the ridge. Now we can adjust the wall heights. Activate the arrow and roof icons and select the left pitch. Then activate the wall icon and, while holding press the shift key, select all the walls underneath the left pitch. Next, choose the adjust garret walls command from the automatic generation submenu from the process menu. Follow the same procedure to adjust the walls under the right pitch. See the result in the 3D view. Go on layer 2. Trace a line along the stairs. Select the line and click the AA icon on the Vector Render bottom palette. Click on the Upward button. The program generate automatically a section in wireframe mode. Choose Hidden Faces mode. Choose Union Faces mode. Click on the Copy to Layer icon on the Vector Render bottom palette. Choose the Destination layer. The section drawing is composed by colored polygons and lines. Click on the layer icon ANC change the name of the section layer.
Click with the mouse for adding a text. In the dialog window choose the text parameters and write the text message. Select and delete all the polygons for obtaining a drawing with lines only. Clicking on the layers icon and pressing the control key on Windows or command key on Mac OS. Open a pop-up menu for looking to all, used, page and empty layers list. Remove the pavement fills. Double click on the camera icon to open the camera parameters. You can set the coordinates of the camera and of the point of interest. For moving the camera in plan, click and drag it. The 3D view is updated in real time. You can navigate directly in the 3D view, like a video game, clicking on it and moving the mouse up, down, left and right. Go into the house. Go upstairs with the wheel of the mouse. Click on the line perpendicular to the camera direction and drag it. This line cut continuously the house and create a dynamic section. The 3D view is updated in real time while moving the section in line. 